How do you go from this to this? This clip was taken with overhead lighting, so I just turn on the light switch and just hope for the best. So how do you create this lighting to make the muscles pop, even if you don't have any? So first you need a hard light, which you can get an, in a Kodo light or a Godox light, or even some lights around your house. So for this example, I'm gonna use the Gikodo lights, they're daylight. And if you don't use the diffuser, you can get a really nice hard light. Okay, so first you wanna take your Gikodo light stand and open it up. You just unscrew the screw right here, start pulling the legs out, push the top part down. And you don't wanna make the legs too tight, otherwise the stand might fall over. Then unscrew this part, take this up, So then you'll take the softbox part of the Gikoto light out of its packaging and open it up and push this ring all the way back in so that it locks in place. And then take your stand. Then you wanna put the softbox onto your stand. Then you tighten it with this screw. Then you take the light bulb out, put the light bulb in, screw it in. And then once you've plugged it in, you just turn it on with the switch and you're good to go. Now you don't want to put on the diffuser part that which would go right on top of the soft box because that would make the light too soft and we want a hard light. So we're going to do this on a smartphone. You can take awesome videos with a smartphone as long as you have the right lighting. Okay, so you want to open up your camera app and then click on more and then go to pro video or any other option where you can record a professional video. Let's go to settings. Go to the pro video size and just turn it on to full HD 60 FPS. Then let's click on uh, white balance. I have it set at 5500. You can always change this a little bit. 5500 is about where you want to be for these Gikoto lights. It's at the daylight temperature. It's measured in Kelvin. If you go down, it'll change the color of white, but let's just stay at daylight. Then you go down to the shutter speed and you'll see that we have one over 125. This will change the brightness. If we go up to one over 60, it'll get brighter. If we go start going way down, one over 8,000, that's gonna be really dark. So let's do one over 125. If you were doing 24 FPS, 24 frames per second, then you would do one over 50, 30 frames per second, one over 60. And then you can click on ISO, go all the way down with ISO so it's as dark as it can be. You want the light to just show up on you. And of course, you can always play with these settings to change it to exactly how you want to see it. But let's now look at how it'll look when I'm in front of a camera. Okay, you can see here that I have my light off to the side of me. It's not pointed directly at me. It's more pointed towards my phone, but that's what creates these shadows. And you just have to play around with the light and the angle to get those shadows the right way. Thanks for watching. If this helped you, please consider subscribing. Ask me a question in the comments if you need anything. And I'll keep making videos like this to help you make your own videos.